This is the reflection of perfection, the number one selection, TRP. Damn, I look good. Welcome back to Fight Night. We are live for the main card of Stevenson versus Valdez. Up next is a four-round middleweight battle between the 4-0 Nico Aliwash and the 7-1 Alejandro Ibarra. As mentioned a million times, Nico is the grandson of Muhammad Ali and is trying to make his own career as a middleweight. He bought her as a 28-year-old veteran who's fought on undercards his whole career. This is all the makings of a stepping stone fight for Ali Wash. So will Nico get rid of Ibarra, or will Alejandro pull off the upset? Let's find out. Now, the Spanish version of ESPN Plus is working, but the United States version is not. Let me pause here to see if the other one's working yet. All right, it's working. Here we go. Wearing gold trunks with white trim. He brings a perfect record into the ring. Four victories, no defeats. Three of those victories coming by way of knockout. From Las Vegas, Nevada, the legend lives on. Nico Ali! That Layla? <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! Out of the blue corner. My <laughs> That's a foul. <laughs> Two free throws. Who's that guy with his arm? Oh, I didn't see it. We are live here ringside from the MGM Grand. We're going to wait towards Oscar Valdez and Jacob Stevenson. Jim Jessup, Nick Bradley, and Andre Ward on the call ringside. We have covered Nico Ali Walsh. It's his much anticipated pro debut. Not because ding, ding, of round one. Skill. Nico himself would tell you he's learning on the job. But because of that name, and when you carry that name, you're going to get this spotlight. And with that spotlight has come criticism. Ooh. We have seen he's going to. Oh, he's going for it early. Right now. All right, he's going to. You see the movement, you see the fast hands from Ali Walsh, and I saw two body shots. Yeah, everybody's making a big deal about who his grandfather was. I wonder why. As he says, boxing is my absolute life right now. He is logging more and more time in the gym. He is fully committed. Oh, that was a shot with the right hand. In. He's going for it early. Until he got in it and saw that, hey, this is a lot harder than I thought. My last man can get me through some doors, but it's also going to cause me some trouble because my opponents want to knock off an alley. So he's running in and out of the ring. Well, he can't be dropping his gloves like that. National TV attention on the night of his pro debut. Yeah, really. I, I never understood that. In every media circuit you could find, New York Times, you name it. But you got to prove it, and as you step up in competition, you could be exposed. You see that signature right Look, Top Gun's coming out. Nico tonight. He has changed trunks throughout. He wore his grandfather's original, actually his grandfather's trunks from the 1960s in his pro debut. Now you see the gold and the white trim with that signature Nico. And it's not his signature. That is his grandfather's signature of Nico. On a note, he wrote to his grandson, and now they put it on the trucks. Right hand scores. That's cool. Look at that. They're slugging it out. They're slugging it out. And he takes that right hand. Well, that's the thing. It's like it's one, one thing Ali, Muhammad could do is take a punch. Now, let's see if his grandson can. We have to take the long term or the long view approach with Ali Wash. I mean, the best information that I got in the fighter meeting is that he's emotionally attached to the game of boxing. And what that means is it's not about the money with him. It's about the war. He loves the war. He loves the training. 
and I can see so much improvement. Oh, nice right hook by Ibarra. Final half minute of round number one. Ibarra, 28 year old from Denver, Colorado, four years old. Swing and a miss. So I'll be Walsh, get our evening going. Oh! That came out of nowhere. He's done. Are you kidding me? That's the way it is. Just like that. Wow. <laughs> Look at Layla. Is that Layla? Oh, that's his aunt. Alright, his own mom. Yeah, that's not Layla. That's his mom, his father, and his uh, aunt. Wow. Where did he hit him? That must be his girlfriend. Who's that guy on his arm? That's Ali, the original. Yeah, he hit him with. <laughs> All right, show the replay. See what I'm saying? This was scheduled for four rounds. It just ended in the first. So now we're going to have a lull before the next fight. He's like so hungry. I would be too. Jesus. It was just like one shot. Yeah, right here. Here we go. All right, left hand. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. And the referee looked at the, the guy's eyes. Knew it. So here it is. Left hook. Wham! Right on the button. How did he get knocked out, though? He said no with the same. Because it was an uncontested right hand. See, he, he stunned him with that and then finished him with that. Find him up for that overhand right. Put him in that position for the overhand right. What happened to the opponent there? Like, what happened physically? Two fights ago. If I punch you in the face as hard as I can, you're going no, down. No, I'm that's talking a... about like in his body, like his brain shake or yeah. something. Or... Yeah, that's what happens when you get knocked out. Oh, and that's what the referee was looking at. He was looking right at his eyes. And he knew there was the lights were on, but no one's home. He was like, oh. Like, the ref was looking for it to see if he was all right. Yeah, the referee just saw, took lo one look at him like, nope. <laughs> the ref's like, he ain't getting up. All right, now let me pause until the decision. Never mind, here it is. That was impressive. 55 years since his grandfather said no to going to Vietnam. 55 years ago, April 28th. Steps into the ring at the MGM Grand and scores yep. a knockout. Bernardo. Yep. All right, we could cut here. Let me mute this. Okay. I'm a believer now. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Wow. I saw Ali's last fight. thought it was pretty cool, but that was impressive. Just literally, bang, bang. That's it. Fight's over. Now, he's a middleweight, not a heavyweight like his grandfather, but still, if he's throwing heavyweight power in the middleweight division, that's pretty damn good. So, definitely look for Ali Walsh to, you know, have a future in boxing. Now, he's 5-0 and as a middleweight. Troy Isley is a middleweight at 5-0. and Could we see those two down the line? Could be. So there you go. Very impressive victory for Ali Walsh. That's going to do it for this edition of Fight Night. I'll see you next time.